Okay, and then we go to the uh, first heat exchanger, which is the preheater, and open the worksheet as well. And here, um, the condition that we want to achieve is that the isopentane output should have 100% vapor because it will deliver to the turbine. So we want to make sure that there is no liquid entering the turbine. Okay, so we put one here and it will do the calculation. Okay, so as you can see here, to change um, from liquid phase to 100% vapor phase, it needs uh, the geothermal to give it heat from 180 to 172. Okay, and in the preheater, as we can see here, um, the geothermal brine temperature reduced to 157.6 yep. and the isopentane temperature increased from 35 to 151.7 degrees Celsius. So cool, now the calculation has been done. Now uh, the isopentane out here. I'm sorry if this schematic looks a bit confusing here, but hopefully you still understand. Okay. Okay. So the geothermal out would be the geothermal brine that is reinjected back through a reinjection well. Okay, so here uh, we're going to use the output of the isopentane for um, rotating a turbine so we can extract the energy okay so for the turbine we can check here we need a stream for the inlet and a stream for the outlet and one energy stream which will show us how many energy that can be extracted from this process okay so i will add uh, one outlet stream here and one energy stream here cool and the inlet would be isopentane out right and the outlet would be this one okay and the energy stream would be this one okay so after that we have to define um the i'm sorry the worksheet again we have to define the condition of the um, outlet stream of the turbine so um here we define um, the condenser or uh, the pressure leaving the turbine. In this case, I would set it to be a bit above the atmospheric pressure, which is 130 kPa. Okay, so it will calculate um, the vapor phase. It's still 100% vapor, which is really good. And after that, we can check um, how much energy that we can get, which is 773.3 kilowatt. Cool, right? And after that, uh, as we can see here, the outlet of the turbine would be around 89 degrees Celsius. But here, we want 35 degrees Celsius a temperature that entering the preheater so we have to cool down this temperature here okay so i'm going to use an air cooler here and we need a stream for the outlet of the air cooler we click on this okay so the process stream would be one Two, okay. Then we go to the worksheet here. So we want the temperature to be thirty-five, right? And then we want it to be zero vapor, and it will calculate. Um, the temperature outlet of the air so the air cooling system works by cool down the 
working for it here by using a fan to cooling down the working fan. Okay, so the air temperature would be quite high in this case. But um, it seems that the air outlet temperature is too high. So I'll use um, more uh, air cooling system. So in this case, I only use one. So now I add one more. So I'll use two air cooling system so that the air outlet would be around 44, which I think is still good. Okay, uh, after that, uh, the working fluid will be pumped to the preheater. So here we add a pump here. Okay, so what do we need for a pump? We need inlet and outlet stream and an energy stream so that we can calculate how much energy do we need for pumping that fit. Okay, so I add one more here. One here. Okay, so it's from two to three, right? And the energy would be two. Okay, cool. And uh, we have to open the worksheet again. Uh, so what do we know about the outlet condition? We want it to be uh, 1917. Okay, so the temperature would be 36.1. So do you remember that this is uh, the same stream, right? So the isopentane that is pumped is the isopentane that enters the preheater. So previously we set it to be 35. That um that would be our assumption for the initial condition and now um we can click on this okay so first um to pref 